Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another session of Lena May's Jewelry Channel. My name is Esther, and I am your streamer for today. And today, as you can see in the title, we have another $50 special for you guys. We have some variety, a little bit of everything. We got some silver jewelry with stones. We have a lot of jade and jadeite and some uh, precious stone stuff for you guys today. So let's get straight into today's um, pieces. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And um, how we handle our customers, uh, if you see a piece of jewelry that you like, make sure you send Lena a text or if you use WeChat, um, you can just scan the QR code and add her into um, add her as a friend so you can send a screenshot of everything to her with the jewelry piece that you like. All right, so let's get straight into today's jewelry piece and I'm going to go right ahead with the uh, jade pieces that we have today. So the first piece I want to go over is a thumbs ring or a large mint ring of a jade um, piece. The color is slightly um, with a little bit of purple and just that uh, general jade color. The size is, I want to say, maybe a little bit uh, bigger and possibly definitely bigger than an eight, of possibly or eight or nine. So you, so you can see it fits on my thumb. This is usually about a seven. So you can see it doesn't, there's definitely a size eight or nine. But it feels very, you know, it's very smooth. So um, if it's your size, make sure you get it just because it's a lot of material. It's a very nice piece. All right. Um, let's go into some of the, um, let's go this by category so that we are not missing anybody's and their jewelry. So we have several boxes from several vendors. Now here we have is a, um, a very happy Buddha. Um, you see definitely some nice color on the, around the belly area. You got some green faces, very nicely carved, very clean back. Right now here we have a very, um, well, not very, but semi-translucent -trans uh, Rui, which is for uh, the good meaning of uh, wealth and just good meaning in general, happiness, luck, whatever you want the good meaning. This is the symbol for it. All right, we have a couple of uh, Guan Yin's for you guys. So. Here is a light lavender with a hint of green. And here we have another piece, even though a similar carving um, character, but very different style, very different m material. You can see the rough stone is um, from very different pieces. But overall, very nice quality. Quite translucent. All right. Here we have another um, a Rui melon, possibly. I don't really know um, how to properly translate them <laughs> into the English language, but all you know, we we carving stuff with anything that has good meaning. And this is actually really nicely uh, designed with a hint of green right here and uh, quite thick of a piece. And again, everything is $50. So if you miss something or if there's something that you've been eyeing and you see that you like and it's $50 right now, make sure you jump on it. So here we have another, this is from a different vendor. Um, so this is again, another Guan Yin, a very large piece. So you can again, see here, we have a very large um, piece of material. You have some nice kinds of green here. For $50, that's quite a value. And here we have some uh, scenery in lilac. I'll put this right here. Another scenery, more translucent piece with a little bit of yellow, hint of yellow. Several scenery pieces. So this is actually quite a large piece. So you can see quite thick. I know they were um, possibly a little bit more expensive in uh, prior sessions, but hey, fifty dollars—you know—that's where that's where we cut off the line in terms of pricing. So, at the further discount, if they're there, then they're there, and if they're not, then you know it's a missed opportunity, as I would call it. All right, 
So here, another scenery just didn't fit on the screen. But again, this is quite a nice piece because um, in terms of translucency, it's definitely have, um, it's got the hint of green. It's got the very, very clear uh, translucency to it compared to some of the other pieces. So just as an example, zero translucency, you can barely see my hands moving versus the higher translucency, you can clearly see my fingers moving. All right, another piece with a scenery, again, quite large of a piece. So moving from the J, let's see what else we have. All right, we have some uh, other silver jade, silver and jade. So here we have a um, Ukon's beaded bracelet with the carving face all over. This is uh, on Nephri Jade, which is a hint of dark green. I know you guys can't really see it with a black background, but this is actually a uh, dark green. It's a very dark green. Again, here we have some um, ring pieces in Nephri Jade. We have some of these in set in silver and a stone. This is actually a really nice jewelry. I just wanted to give it a closer look so you guys can see the inclusions on the inside. It almost looks like the bottom of the ocean. You guys see that? And it's, it's 3D. It's not like a 2D um, kind of like, all right, so there's some inclusions and that's it. But no, like you can clearly see it looks like the bottom of the ocean. I must give this one a close shot. Very nice. All right, Nephri Jade beaded bracelet. And here we have a dragon printed onto a piece of dark Nephri Jade. Very, very clean Nephri Jade in the back. And this is printed gold. Not solid, but printed gold. And we have a few um, ember pieces with the adjustable ring in the back. Got some yellow ember. Um, what else we have? We have a um, red agate. We have amethyst. And all of these are silver with the adjustable, adjustable setting in the back, just so that you don't have to worry about sizes. And I believe this is a uh, tourmaline picho, picho, and a rose, purple rose. I think it's a rose. A very nice ring. Alrighty, moving on. Let's see what else we have. And if you were watching our channel earlier, you know we have some bags on sale and there's a few that's sitting here. So if you wanna stay tuned, we definitely have some rings that's coming up. Now here's a not gold, but designer jewelry. It's by uh, Swarovski here with the original box. And this is only for $50. It's the, the pendant with a chain of a, um, of a, I guess, I don't know what you call this kind of bug. But for Swarovski at $50, that is very, very cheap. Alrighty, we have some, I know many of you were, um, were looking into the uh, Jade Mint Ring. We have definitely several pieces right here. So make sure you pay close attention because I know these has been very, very popular for the past couple of days. Now here we have one, the large ring with the Pichu. I'll put this right here. And here we have a plain ring, men's, or woman. I mean, I will wear this on my thumb personally, just, you know, in the summertime, typing, working. No cracks, very nice touch of uh, green here. Feels very smooth. This right here. And here from the cover, same creature with a little bit of purple so 
you really have your your greens and your purples this piece is quite large so if you have uh if you're um shopping for a men's ring with men that has some you know thicker fingers this will probably look really nice because you know when you put a small ring on a uh, thicker finger it doesn't always look right so here we have another ring with a lot of carving details to it and this is in a light lilac color with some hints of green um, I know that it's probably not picking up on camera even though um, the carving is nice the piece is nice overall but this is a different breed of jadeite um, with some hints of black um, inclusions it's not inclusion it's just how this type of jade is the nature to it is with dark spots so they're not they're not like dirty they're not like um they're not like bad stones or anything this is just this type of jade that comes with this type of uh creation when when they were uh dug out of the the rocks let me see if i have any more rings oh yes i do all right here we have another fairly large piece i want to say this is possibly easily a size 10 because you can see the big gap in the big size compared to uh, something that we have here. This is definitely a larger piece, uh, most definitely for men. And I would think that I have pretty thick thumb for, for a girl, but this is, this is just gonna whoop, right off. But the carving is very nice. I mean, I mean, you know what, even worst case, if you don't wanna wear this, put a chain through it and make it into a pendant. That's also gonna work if you really like the piece. That's just some personal suggestion I would do pattern is really nice all right ladies here open up we have a uh, smaller ring uh, I don't really know the size of this I want to say possibly a six and a half to a seven it's a six and a half to be safe very translucent no cracks it has the nice hints of green here and here overall very good quality piece i wish you guys could see from this angle and into um into the the lights with them you can definitely see some uh i guess it's a type of breed with certain um it's not called cloudy but i can't translate that <laughs> all the terms the fancy terms that they use to describe jade it's like a whole nother language all right i believe this is all the rings i have from this vendor take one last look make sure if you see anything you like take a screenshot and send it to us i'm gonna put this on the side all right here we have is uh quite of a good value actually let me just take this out of the bag it's a bangle what size is this this is does not say but it looks quite small in the mid 50s possibly um usually they mark the size but this one's not color is quite nice um you have some translucency now i just wanted to see if there's some you know there's some minor um not necessarily crack yeah a little cracks but for 50 dollars, if this piece were perfect you're definitely not going to find this for 50 but there are cracks. I just want to go back so you guys can see. This is the crack. And everything else just seems to be perfect. In terms of, uh, you got a little bit, you got just the right colors. You got the nice um, oceany green and you got the little bit of brown, yellow. Um, and usually the full bangle, the full rounded bangle uh, goes for more money. So. For $50, if you don't mind the crack, this is definitely a steal. Um, I know it really depends on the person. Some person, some people will be like, you know, if there's even a little tiny crack, I don't want it. But um, hey, to each his own. And I was watching a documentary one time that certain people go and hunt for bangles with crack just so that they can find it for cheaper. You know, to each his own. All right, here we have a beaded bracelet. The color is really nice. Here we have an, uh, an agate carved um, into a, this is a Buddha. Yeah, the colors are used really nicely with the, back, the white background. 
Okay, here we have another agate, very translucent. Technically, you know, um, agates are not as expensive as jade, but for the type of color, if you're looking for something with this high translucency, but you don't want to break bank, you know, this is definitely where your money's at. This is of a guanyin with some, I guess, maybe birds, phoenix, some type of birds. All right, here we go. I have a large piece. This is a big tiger right here. You can see if it's my entire, actually bigger than my entire finger. Um, quite a large piece, a little bit on the thin side, but no cracks, very clean cut in the back. Nice carving. Here we have another uh, agate piece. So this is just the two agate that we have in um, the white translucent and the red in the front. So you can see the colors are utilized very nicely. Let me see if I have any more agate just so that you guys have a comparison. And that seems like all the agates we have. The rest are looking like to be jade or jadeite. Nephrite or jadeite. All right, moving on. We have a... God, what is this? It looks like how many dragons we have one two three i believe this is my oh no yes four five six seven eight am i counting that right um so the background is a um guan in with the various dragon in the back so this is you know actually it's with for somebody who has to have you know the need to have this type some people um, are, that are not religious tend to avoid um, certain religious, you know, and only go for the dragons. But if you're a dragon uh, collector, um, just be mindful. Even though this is quite a nice piece, high translucency, very icy, but there is a um, religious creature in the back. Okay, right, here we have another piece of the Buddha. It's a dual color. You can see um, the clean, the back. These are not cracks. These are just the formation from the stone. Like playing with these stones is like music to my ears. All right. So you have a few um, peace and safety um, pendants in different colors. You have some the white with pretty decently translucent and the yellow so let me put this here for the peace and safety we also have this uh, peace donut this is just in one category is how i would put the mask all right moving on trying to grab well here's a nice little uh chain you have um, a few different, this is little, little, um, what do you call this? <laughs> I can't even, but it's a chain. Um, it does come with a little uh, thing on the bottom. But for something that looks, oh, sorry guys, there's a something here. For something as small as this looks, this is quite heavy, I must say. I did not expect this to be as heavy when I picked it up. All right, here's a really awesome piece. We have, remember I mentioned earlier about a certain color of jade that's in the darker colors? This is considered the dark chicken, that's the best way I can translate it, <laughs> dark chicken um, bead. I believe it's uh, 108 beads with uh, some, this is possibly wood with a piece of jade and um, stone so it's a very nice piece for 50 bucks this is a steel very hefty chain um, pretty good quality for the stones and in the same family we have the dark grayish color jade of a Buddha This is a, another piece show. 
with a leaf on the back. Now this actually have beautiful colors. You have a little bit of green, blue, I mean greenish blue kind of. And you got yellow and you got a little bit, a hint of lilac. Also a very heavy piece for 50 bucks. Everything is 50 bucks. Here we have another um, mix with uh, some spicy green. For this spicy green color, uh, I don't know if I will put this in the same category, but you have these, these uh, quite thick of a piece carving. This type, this type, and one last piece. So I really think that I will categorize these in a similar type of uh, jade material where it's not like one or two solid colors. They're very mixed, marbleized stone. But all with, aside from this one, it, the whole surface is with carving back and front. So just take a closer look. Very thick piece. This is like a little lighter, <laughs> very wide. And this is just an all around piece. And this one I'm sure you guys already seen. It's kind of caved in. And this is just regular carving, but also fairly thick. All right, let's see what else we have from this vendor. Well, here's a cute little elephant. A chain. Here's the color you don't see quite often. It's of a um, dirtish color with a little bit of light brown. Very nicely carved. <coughs> I want to call this miscellaneous um, carving. Not really sure. It's another character. Is this like one of those? Is this the money god? Can't really tell. There's a money sign in the back. <laughs> Another Guanyin. <coughs> Ever happened to you when you're just talking and choking on your own spit? Yep, that just happened. <laughs> All right, here's another piece of um, chain pendant. Move this out of the way. Here we have another Guan Yin's head. Quite a large piece. Very 3D. Well, here's an awesome piece. This is a uh, carved flower, lotus flower. And this is, uh, I believe, with silver. Very, very 3D. So if you are someone who likes um, pendants that has a lot of, or someone who likes um, pendants that has a lot of exaggerations, this is pretty good for, for the small size. And here we have a similar type of, with a, with a dark gray of an eagle. A little bit more Americanized carving. And, um, believe this is a bigger money-eating <laughs> mystical creature all right here I have a smaller piece now I really wanted to grab this because as small as it is you guys can see that it's a very it's not flat um, it's carved into the shape of a two it's got really high quality of jade on it with some crazy um green color so you can see some of the other even you have a piece this big you don't get this type of translucency and you don't get this type of color or if you have something green even i can bring it out you can see the translucency are not there so this is probably one of the higher quality stones um, and again for 50 this is quite a nice piece again i believe this is dual use you can use this as a pendant 
or you can clip this on into a bracelet with a clip like pandora style you know like the stuff that you can keep on adding on and here i have another one um not the same quality quite so even though we have something that's small i still want to show you guys um the, the difference in quality the high translucency versus the semi translucency the sizes you're getting obviously you get what you pay for but this is also a very nice piece with um carved shape into a tooth and I thought I had one more and I did not. Okay. Um, the other piece that I have that's not a tooth and with similar type of uh, color and uh, quality is this piece. So these are the slightly smaller pieces, but it has really high quality. And just one little tiny left. Not sure if these are with gold. I cannot quite tell, but again, high translucency you got from the highest to translucent to a little body but this piece i really wanted to emphasize if anybody who likes that type of carving with like teeth or um some, something like that um if this is your style check out these two pieces you can give this like it could be a gift for women or men or it could be like a couple's thing you know quite cute if you have like a, for a hundred bucks you get a couple's uh teeth you know matching jewelry because you know you have some green on the top and here you have green on the bottom uh, for the quality of these jade this is really nice all right well i put this away uh, and get to the ne the next jewelry we have if you like any of the pieces that you've seen above make sure you send lena a text or get wechat or at her on WeChat. If you're unfamiliar, have hear me say WeChat all the time. It's just like a Chinese version of WhatsApp. Um, and what what essentially happened is that we, if you're new to the channel again, uh, we add you into a certain group and you can see a lot of the more jewelry that we have, not just the ones in the stream channel. Um, there's a lot of uh, hit, like notifications, if there's a sale that's going, um, sometimes we alert our um, group members. There's um, there's upcoming streaming videos. Now this is free. I know there's a lot of other services like the YouTube, Patreon, you know, platforms and stuff like that. No, this is a complete free service for you guys, just so that we can provide the jewelry um, notification for you. So in case you're unfamiliar, do check it out. This is absolutely at zero cost to you check out wechat as an app and just add her it's just much easier communication and you get to see more jewelry that's a win-win situation in my hand all right moving on to the next set of jewelry that we have all right we have some um stone i believe this is uh sergula sergulite probably pronouncing that awfully wrong but cannot pronounce everything correctly um, we do have a few pieces of these and these are natural stone quite stunning yellow I mean yellow quite stunning purple color you got some darker yellow and a little bit lighter color and these are you know done really nicely and some of the other pieces that we have even had like a hint of hot pink you know so there's a few of these um, if you like just make sure you let us know and Moving on to a pearl. This is a pearl necklace with a pendant at the bottom. And we have several pearl necklaces here. It's a little bit tangled. Oh, okay, so this I believe is a set because it's put together. Here you have a, um, oh my goodness. Can I just have this thing not move for one second? So you have these um, with this. Uh, this is not jade. Um, it's a type of jade-like stone. Uh, this is for a set. $50 for this set. You got a bracelet set with a, the elastic band. And this is not elastic. This you have the opening in the back. All right. This, I believe, is an ember beaded bracelet. So... Okay, so you guys can see this background's not that good here 
you really don't can't see the ember uh the color of the ember in a black background let me see what i can have that's white all right nothing white so hand it is all right so this is what it will look like on hand it's quite um i wouldn't call this extremely heavy but you can see the beads are quite large and um we all know the the most expensive shape for amber is in beta shape very nice piece of amber oh here is marked they are 40 millimeters so in case you're wondering the sizes on the beads are 14 millimeter let me see what is the best way but for $50, this is such a steal. And here we have a multicolored pearl necklace um, with some aquamarine. This is on sale, it was marked for $75. The aquamarine are quite nice. You got some real pearls. Multicolor pearls. All right here we have a uh, an old silver type of um, bracelet. This is silver with the stone, and with the hook goes in. And lastly, we have another bracelet with moonstone and amethyst. The moonstone is quite shiny. There's no additional lighting. Sometimes you see these crazy shine the moonstone and wonder if it's edited. No, they really like this in person. Quite nice. Moving on to the next set that we have. All right, this is really a mixture, a miscellaneous of a bunch of things. This is like the goody jar. All right, first up, we have this stone with chain um, of a mythical creature. The creature is in red and white. I honestly cannot put my hand on what this material is, but you can tell that it's likely an antique piece. You see some aging on it. There's some dirt. Um, some awareness to it, but this is what you get for antique. Quite a large and heavy piece. And here you can get a better look at the chain because with the chains, you really have to carve the stone out like that. So with, with the stone still attached. So some people really care about the quality of the chain. So this is when you get a better look at the chain. I mean, the rest of the piece, it's funny how if a piece is missing a foot, People will be like, oh, it's missing a foot. It's just fine. We'll get it anyway. We'll hide it somehow. But if the chain is cracked, oh no. Can't repair these. All right, what do you have next? Ooh, heavy, heavy jade um, piece. This was marked for 80, discounted to 50. You have the the, the the jade has a pierce in the middle and it I don't I can't really tell it looks like it's covered but yeah so this is um pierced through in the back here you have a little piece here and this is the carved of a flower look out how nicely this is carved and it comes with a chain it even comes with a chain for 80 bucks this is such a heavy steal nice piece of jade you got some nice carving a very statement piece that way i can put it you see how large it is and for 50 bucks all right here we have you know i know the name of the stone but i forgot <laughs> so um you've seen this uh quite sometimes we have this similar stone it goes really fast um, this is really with the multi color. You had a little bit of blue, got a little purple. Where can I get a back white background? Will this do? 
No, it doesn't work. Okay. I had to work it out somehow, but you can see the color very translucent with a variation of purple, blues, and light purple. Right, here we have another um, thumb ring. So this is quite nice. I want to say this is about a maybe size eight plus, eight and plus. Put this back. All right. Before I get to the oh, actually, you know what? Let's go for this piece. Here we have another. Um, what is this carved off? I can't really tell. This is a flower. Multicolor. It's a different coloring every single, um, every other stone. Can't really tell what it is, but it looks very nice. It's very heavy. It's a, this is a heavy duty piece. All right, let's get into some beads. Here we have a all red beaded chain now these this is with elastic so you can use it as a um necklace or bracelet it's like a four layer bracelet here is the a multicolor elastic band same thing necklace or bracelet we have a few colors of these so the color that you like the most and i believe these are more agates this is agate these are tourmalines this is a much richer uh red and this is more of a translucent so if you like that fullness in your beads and these are actually quite a little bit larger too just 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 slightly very very lightly uh same thing elastic man it turn into a necklace, bracelet, whatever you like, it will fit. The last elastic piece we have is these yellow J. It comes with a little thing in the back. And these are also elastic. Same thing. Actually, has a, this is not just plain rounded beads. You have a little bit of design right here. Yep. Uh, again, make it into a necklace, bracelet, whatever you like. So these are the elastic adjustable uh, necklace, bracelet, whatever you want type of chains that we have. Okay, moving next. Uh, next is not a elastic chain, but it is um, it's, it's also a necklace and it has the... Um, the, from that that style with you got from the small to the large the beads are very perfectly matched and the stone in person um you can tell the the natural stones when there's a few hints of mixture you can see the lines not cracks Yeah, so this is when the stone is um, picked out and it still has that different color to it. See, a few of them. All right, here we have, let's go for some embers. So this is with a silver chain. It comes with a silver chain and it is a green amber. It's blue and green and yellow. Well, not so much blue, but it's kind of a darker color. But here you can see the real color behind it. And this comes with a silver chain as well for 50 bucks. And we do have some other silver jewelry. Putting this back, let's see what we have. We have some rings that's coming up. 
to realize we have. All right, let's go with the rings. Um, here is a uh, adjustable silver. Have some nice uh, design in the back. Time to stack the rings. All right, stacking, stacking the rings. Oh, here's a beautiful green um, piece, very translucent. Have a little nephrite jade Buddha, happy Buddha. Amethyst, always can't go wrong with amethyst. Amethyst. Uh, this is silver and enamel with roses. Now, all of these, except for the silver and enamel, all of the other ones, so all of these right here, these are all adjustable. This is not adjustable. And I want to say this runs for about a six and a half. All the others are adjustable. This is quite a nice, this makes me want to eat a grape. I'm pretty sure in Chinese it's called a grape stone, but I'm sure that's not what you call them in English. But for the sake of uh, of them being the same, <laughs> give me that same feel, I'm going to call this a grape stone. It's very, very smooth. What else do we have? What is in this other goodie box? Alright, here we have... Um, a little set of jade um i guess like you can really make them into a earring but it's got some even though they're small they still have some crazy color to it you guys can see that high spicy green all right some more rings you got this purple Same stone, but in a lighter purple. What else we have? Oh, here's a big piece. I don't quite remember. Was this a cat's eye? But this is a uh, not adjustable, quite large. But the, the stone itself is beautiful. So I wanted to safely call this a not quite mince but if you have you know maybe a size 10 if size 10 is about your size 9 to 10 this might be a really steel piece you got a very large piece of stone here set in silver um, but I'm guessing that it didn't fly off the shelf as fast as because uh, the more common sizes are it's like seven six seven eight usually go the fastest Right here we have a little piece of amber, honey amber with chain. And a big pendant. This is not jade. This is that same uh, jade-like stone. It's a little bit easier to understand. If it were jade, obviously we'll say that it's a uh, nephrite or um, jadeite. And here we have a little piece of amber carved into rose. Very light piece, but uh, trying to see. I don't see any holes punched through it. I do not see anything punched through this. So if you, um, if you were to get this, possibly if you wanted to use it and put, put a chain on it, you might have to pierce through a hole somewhere. And lastly for today, we have some uh, silver pieces. We have this uh, silver bracelet in amethyst. We have some uh, heavy silver kids bangle. I know this is not very often on our channel, but these are really nice. Kids, uh, kids stuff, we have a few of these. Got the pink, got the little red. These silver is actually quite heavy. These silver pieces, you know, kids grow out of it so fast. And you can get some of these for 50 bucks. Nice little butterflies. And 
And that should... Oh, well, actually, let me... Before I miss... There's another silver bracelet. Two more silver bracelets. These are really fun to play with. The beads are actually movable. So if you're like me who, like, who cannot stop, I would just keep on rubbing. This is quite fun. And it looks like that is all for you guys today. And um, lastly, where did I put the card? It is here somewhere. Lastly, if you see anything you like, make sure you send Lena a text or add us on WeChat. And we'll um, send out according notifications. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.